is a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am whole again? Wait, hold on. Hello everybody, I just got home from the gym and it is Thursday. I have a lot of work to do. I have two calls this morning um, and got a lot to catch up on because next week I am flying out end of the week to go to my sister's bachelorette, which is crazy that it's already here. I'm super excited though. It's going to be so fun. Um, we're going to Cabo, so I'll definitely try and film some of that for you guys as well. But I just went to the mailbox. I was going to open this with you guys. Um, speaking of the trip we're going on, I got new, so got new makeup bags because the ones I have they are just like old ones that weren't really working very well and the zipper was broken. It's ones that like I got for free, you know, I can get those for free. So I figured I'd open the new ones with you guys because they're pretty cute. They're on Amazon, like super cheap. I also have an Amazon storefront if you ever want to check it out. I like add things that I really like on there. Um, yeah, they're so cute. They're little like checkered makeup bags. Um, oh my gosh, that's so cute. So it comes with two. And it's like this like fabric. So cute. And you can just put some in there. And then I was thinking for like all my brushes, I can put them in here. Or toothbrush or whatever it is I want to bring in this. I can do that too. So, super cute though. I love the fabric and the colors. It's like my color palette. <laughs> I love it so much. Um, so, got these two. Kind of super random, but I thought I'd show you guys because I, I knew the colors would be cute. Um, Leo's here to investigate. Anyway, I am going to make a coffee kind of get prepared to um, hop on those calls. Leo, please, scoot along, scoot along. Um, get prepared to hop on the calls and uh, make a coffee, make some breakfast, and give Leo some attention because he clearly wants it. But I'll talk to you guys a little later. I had to do some quick makeup before my call. Um, the call was successful though got my coffee and yeah it was successful we talked about potentially doing a website in a week for this client that's a therapist she's getting into counseling just started her own business and yeah i love working with people like that who are working in like the healthcare world industry um, mental health too i love all of that so i'm super excited to potentially work with her and I always tell new potential clients that it'll take me around 48 hours to get the proposal over to them. For me, that gives me a good amount of time to just make sure that I, um, you know, have enough time to make sure I have the package laid out properly. So speaking of, I need to make one of the proposals for a client I spoke to the other day. I need to make that today because I'm on my 48 hour mark. Um, I've been getting so many inquiries and I'm kind of trying to like, I feel like I have to raise my prices right now because I need to just, I don't know, not say yes to so many things. I say this every year. It's a good problem to have, a really good thing to have. Um, but yeah, I really need to, I need to stick to my words. So anyway, I think I'm gonna go walk on the treadmill and do my emails, a couple of bills I have to pay. Anyway, I'm gonna get on the treadmill, walk for a little, do my emails, and then we'll come inside and make logo edits and get on another call. And then we'll just continue working. So I'll talk to you guys a little later. Sitting too long on my desk 
for staring at my screen too long. I like to take the bike on like a little ride around the neighborhood. So I did that and I literally fell at the bottom of the neighborhood. It was super embarrassing. Luckily, no one was there, but I was trying to like get some clips for YouTube while going downhill. Bad combination. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of like having like a bruise. I can feel it on my leg already, but luckily I caught myself a little bit. So I'm back in the house. I'm actually making a little cold brew. I have soccer at six, so I want to have a good amount of energy for that. And I want a little pick me up right now. So I bought this cold brew at the grocery store. It's a blue bottle and I'm trying it. logo and I feel like this is what I'm going to send over so I was trying to figure out a cool way to do like a unique s but it is a healthcare company so I thought like having like some sort of element of a person and I kind of actually like how that came together it's like super abstract and different and then I also kind of like this one because it has like that healthcare symbol as well as the s so I'm going to put this together in all of the variations, send it over to him, and <clears throat> I like to do video walkthroughs of me explaining like why I chose um, these symbols and colors and everything. So I'm going to work on that, send it over to him, and I think I'm going to rinse off me and my sister. So my sister was visiting me this last weekend, or this last week, I keep thinking it's literally Monday, um, and we went and got a trial spray tan for her wedding and it is dark it is like orange um and i just look down at my arm and it's literally like just getting darker so i think i'm gonna rinse off i do have a soccer game so it feels weird to rinse off before that but i do want to make sure the dark the tan is not like crazy dark so i think we're gonna do that but i'm gonna work on these i'll send it i'll show you guys before i send it over but i'm kind of happy with how it came out warm out has been to make my coffee make some breakfast and sit in the sun in our backyard usually I'll go work out and then come sit here and it's amazing it feels so good with the sun and it kind of just allows me to like set my intentions for the day fill out my gratitude journal and you know kind of just like take a breather before I jump into a busy day so I've been loving this morning routine and we actually, so last, end of the summer last year, we paid to have our backyard, like have them dig a hole and make this fire pit because it gets really windy in our backyard. And I thought that having like a lower sunken fire pit would block the wind. And I just, I love it. Now that it's warm out, we can finally use it because right when they finished putting it all together, it snowed. So we haven't been able to use it since we've had it. So I've also just been trying to take full advantage of this fun project that we did. But anyway, for today, I have one of my clients that I'm starting her website in a week, end of this month, which I can't believe it's June. It's crazy. Um, we, she asked me if we can hop on a call this morning. I don't really know what it's about. Um, oh, we just moved the call, actually. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna talk to her at some point today, and then I'm also talking. I have a really exciting call at 10 o'clock, I think. Yeah, 10 o'clock, and I'm talking with my 
good friend. I've mentioned this before, but her name's Moya. She is an expert in Dubs Auto. Um, and we are actually doing a course together. So I wanted to bring in more experts that know more about the things I want to teach on. Um, and she's so good at Dubs Auto. Like she has set mine up. So it is so automated and it helps me save so much time in my business. She's so knowledgeable. So we're doing this course together. We're like splitting up the lessons. I'm gonna teach on the things I'm comfortable with, have her teach all the things that I'm not very comfortable with. So I'm talking with her at 10 to kind of like kick it off, set the plan to film and do all that. So I'm pretty excited for that. And then I have therapy today at 12, which is much needed. This week I've been like in my head a lot. So I'm excited to talk it out with someone. <laughs> I think I have it with her. I have telehealth with my insurance and it's actually covered. I picked this insurance specifically so I can use therapy and um, it's nice because I can schedule it whenever I want and I don't have to pay for it. I have to pay for insurance, but it's so nice. So I'm gonna talk with her at 12. Honestly, before therapy, I've been noticing that I like to write notes because when I get on the call, I kind of forget all the things that I wanted to talk about throughout the week. So I think I'm gonna write some notes um, on my phone or something while I sit here about things I wanna address on the call. Um, and then I also just made a yogurt bowl. So I'm gonna eat some of this. I went on a bike ride this morning. We had a nice morning. It was like a perfect morning. It's perfect weather out. I'm loving it. Oh yeah, and then also later today, I'm meeting with my friend to take her headshots um she just needs some for her new job and we'll probably go get a coffee or something so i'll take you guys with me and then tomorrow we have pilates we have a fun day so i will take you guys with me then but i'm gonna eat this relax in the backyard and i will talk to you guys later all right guys i am <clears throat> about to hop on a call with my friend the one i told you guys that we are gonna potentially do the course together so um, I'm very excited though. I organized it so I highlighted the videos I'm comfortable doing versus her. I think we're going to discuss more in detail exactly who's going to film what because um, I don't want her to feel like overwhelmed in any in any way at all. Um, so yeah, and then I'm also checking in on my email list. I need to send an email out today um, with my latest YouTube videos. If you guys aren't part of my email list, definitely check it out down below. Um, yeah, that's what's going on. So I'm going to hop on this call and I'll talk to you guys later. Alright guys, I got ready and made myself a smoothie. It's delicious. I'm sipping on this. I'm going to leave in like 20 minutes. So before then, I have enough time to send out a proposal kind of customize it a little bit. So that's what I'm gonna do. It's like so dark right here. I actually have this like linen overall thing that I got a long time ago on Urban Market. So I'm wearing that today, but let's head out in a little bit. I just went and got coffee with my friend. I took her headshot photos and it's literally beautiful weather out. A little little warm but it's like 75 and absolutely perfect um so we we're sitting outside enjoying our coffee and catching up but they're actually remodeling one of their homes so i'm gonna go check it out and see what it looks like but um yeah i'm kind of just taking a little step away from work and i'm gonna get go home and honestly just work the rest of the night my boyfriend doesn't get home until like 10 from his work trip so I have some time to catch up on work. But anyway, I will talk to you guys when I get back. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Hello guys, so I don't know why, but I was like super motivated to go on a run. So I just went on a run around the neighborhood and it felt so good. But I don't know why I thought it would be good to run after tacos because I um, it was kind of difficult. But I just wanted to move my body before I sit and work for the next couple hours. So, so it was really nice. Um, yeah, 
That was a good workout. So I'm just gonna get comfortable. I'm gonna rinse off. Um, I'm doing my laundry, as you can probably hear. So I'm doing that, but I'm gonna get comfortable. And then I'll show you guys some of the things I've been working on. Um, I had a nice early dinner, so that was perfect. But maybe I'll make my little coconut ice cream thing with you guys. I'm obsessed with it these days. So that sounds so good, but anyway. That was a good little run. I'm wondering if I'm gonna be a runner now. I've been like biking and running because it's just been so beautiful out and I'm trying to take advantage of the warm sun, the weather, it's just been amazing. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys after I shower and get cleaned up. Going on that run gave me literally an allergy attack. You could probably hear it. I'm like so congested now, but it's all good. So I wanted to show you guys my ice cream um, that I've been loving. So I get the coconut ice cream and then this cocoa whip uh, whipped cream and it is so good. I don't know like what makes this so good but I like to put a little bit of this on the coconut ice cream I have with some cocoa nibs. It's amazing. So that's what I'm doing with my allergy sounding. <laughs> I'm so congested. Um, anyway, that's what I'm making. Little Friday night dessert like this is my ideal of my idea of like a perfect Friday night just like staying at home all cozy and eating a healthy dessert moving my body a little and then just sitting at my computer watching a dumb show and working like that's literally a perfect night um and I don't always work on Friday night but since my boyfriend's not here I'm like I'm gonna catch up on work so we can just hang out this weekend so I'm gonna eat this, it looks so good. Um, I also had like a leftover gluten-free cookie. It's delicious, so I'm gonna eat this and watch Celebrity Family Feud. I forgot to show you guys the camera that I picked up that it's like a super small camera that the guy was selling for like $20. It's waterproof, it's, it's just like perfect to bring um, traveling, like especially if you're going somewhere with um, water. I don't know what Leo's doing. He's licking the couch. What are you doing? Uh, anyway, he's being weird, but <laughs> this is the little camera I got. So it is a Lumix camera. This one's been having trouble focusing. So it's a Lumix camera with a little one on the back. It's just like a 2009 model and um, it has flash and it actually records, which is pretty cool um, but I really wanted something that I can just like be rough with and like take it traveling put it in my pocket like super easy to bring around and I just like opened up the memory card to see what it looks like I did some example or like practice um, pictures and stuff to see what it looks like and they look like legit like pretty cool so I'll show you guys an example one right here so it's actually way more clear than I thought. These are just dumb pra little practice ones. Um, but it's a lot more clear than I thought. I got some of Leo. But I kind of love like that vintage-y feel to it. And I tried to do one on a timer to see what it would look like. And it's kind of cool. It's just like super <laughs> Leo blinked. Um, super cool though and I think that's gonna be perfect for when I want that like vintage style when traveling so that was a good find and I looked on eBay $200 for a, one of these which is crazy um, then I got it for $20 so pretty cool but I'm actually working on my personal website and I'm so freaking excited because I finally nailed my personal new personal logo all right guys, I wanted to show you the sort of rebrand that I have in, in mind for my own business. So this is the mood board I created. Definitely more like vintage, retro. I don't really like using the word retro because I don't want it to be like something that's not timeless. But I do want something that looks a little more vintage like this with like warmth and hand drawn illustrations. That's like my overall vibe. This is my color palette. Um, 
And honestly, this is similar to what I already have. I just added this one in and this one and changed the brown a little. And then here is my logo. I am like so happy and excited about it. I wanted something that is a little bit inspired by like European tiles and home decor. And I took a tile that was in Portugal and actually looked up um, Scandinavian kind of vibes. So not really, okay, my camera died, but we will just use my phone. But I do feel it has that kind of like European aesthetic to it. And I love like having dots like that to kind of like put it all together. And this is what it looks like as the full primary logo. And we have the sub marks over here and then a secondary logo as well. So I'm like so excited about it. I feel like it's really come together to be something I'm like gonna be proud to put on things and that I love. Um, and then I also have been working on my new website. So this is kind of, I want it to be similar to what I have, but this will be technically a picture that changes to show like work that I've done. And I also want to have like more, I guess kind of like Polaroid style images throughout to give it that like vintage aesthetic. And yeah, I'm excited. I got new copy, so that's kind of the reason I'm redesigning my website, but I think it's coming together super nicely. So everything I've tried to do this morning has been a total fail. Um, I left early to make it to my Pilates class with time to spare. And there was a traffic there was an accident and the traffic was just terrible so i was in traffic for like 45 minutes to an hour it was crazy so i missed my class i'm pretty sure i'm gonna get charged for that and then i went to plato's closet i had clothes in my car to drop off so i dropped that off but now i'm like i'm gonna make use of being on the other side of town so i'm gonna go into target i'm gonna get like some final things for the bachelorette trip like I want to get like uh, medicine just in case if anything happens. Um, I need some new memory cards so I might see if I have any. Starbucks. I'm like so tired today. Honestly it's probably a good thing I'm not working out. I want to take today kind of slower maybe take it off because I like woke up late. I'm just like exhausted. I went on a, that run yesterday and like biking is just a lot so I'm like you know what that's okay. We'll take today slow. But I'm literally in my like slippers because I thought I was going to Pilates. But anyway, it's all good. So I'll show you guys what I have at Target. Oh my god, guys. I thought I was filming that whole thing, but I wasn't. Um, but I just tried the eye cream I got, the de-puffing eye cream, and I low-key already see a little bit of a difference. Um, so we'll have to wait and see if it really de-puffs them, but I got the macadamia nut cold brew, and it's honestly really good. Perfect weather out, so <clears throat> I'm sitting outside eating some crackers and hummus. I'm like soaking up the sun. Okay guys, I had to change because I was like burning up after sitting outside, but let's open it up. I'm super excited. So it looks like this. Really, how oh, really? This is, these are the hoops. And then we have, so pretty. Love it. Friend was like starving and they have this really cute lemonade stand and I was like let's go get a lemonade but he was getting like super tired and did not want to leave the house but I wanted to leave the house so I'm like I'm gonna go get it so I got him his strawberry lemonade I think and then I got myself a Aussie bowl but look how big this is it's a big bowl um but yeah I'm gonna go home and we'll eat it there and just relax and enjoy the summer weather. We went on like a nice bike ride, um, but I'm like so tired. I've been so tired today. 
but we're just gonna relax. We're gonna watch that movie called You People on Netflix. It looks really cute and good. So we're gonna watch that. Watch the movie, maybe sit in our fire pit later. Relax, I need to edit the YouTube video, this YouTube video. Um, that's what's going on.